cannot find any detail that is wrong, or not wrong, but not exactly the way I think it is, then that's easy. But when I have the feeling that everything is okay, then where is the next step? You know, the next step is uh, probably to, uh, to humanize something which is in itself absolutely impeccable. So, I don't know if you know what I mean, because I'm talking about sensations. That's a little bit lower, and that What do you say with that? And then you went back to Tom That's that's higher. And that's how it arrives to pianissimo. You know, and I played that with countless people since I was little. And I had the feeling that some of them play exactly perfectly what is written, and with some I had the feeling that they tell me something. You know, we embark on, on a kind of adventure and I understand more, or I am initiated in the, into the meaning of that. Some of them didn't play the violin as well as you do. And sometimes to play an instrument impeccably well can become a problem. <laughs> you know, because then you know how to, and you know how to slide, and you know how to, how to do everything, and then you do. And you use your knowledge on, on those notes instead of going the other way around, that music moves in your head, and then you, you apply what you know about the instrument. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. It does? Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes me happy. So, it makes like, sense, but it's difficult. It's another approach. Mm -hmm. uh, not another approach. Uh, I think starting out with the music, and arriving to play the violin is not just another approach. Uh, uh, that's the approach of Brahms, who said, -ra 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 -ra. and then he wrote it down. Now, I can, cannot call that a, as another approach to writing down something and then think, how does it sound? -ra 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 -ra. That's good. No, that, that's the approach. And that's what makes me buy a ticket. What I'm talking about is kind of mysterious because if I say that different the difference is not that that should be softer. And the difference is not that it's a fourth lower. There is another difference. You know? And I can imagine that somewhere inside you that lives. That perception of, of the truth. It doesn't really come out because impeccable things are covering it up. 
And that's why I, I wanted to play so that we are not together, but it didn't succeed. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you can hear the grass growing and, and you can adjust to anything. Let's try with the slow movement. <laughs> This is very interesting because I propose something, you know, with split second differences. You don't, you, you adjust, but you don't respond. What you do is to put it back the way you want it. <laughs> <laughs> So I want you to hurry to make it espressivo. And then and I heard so many so many extremely tender beauty in that. with that, uh, how it goes into the minor. That, that's a short moment of hope, which is given up. So I'm, I use now record jacket text. You know? But uh, I heard it so many times that I was moved by it. Not impressed, but moved. Let's play it together. I played the second note late, and that gives you a choice. should be softer. When I mean softer, I mean uh, humanly softer. You know, I have to say it in parenthesis, I uh, appreciate all the qualities that you have, but now I let them aside. Mm. You know, and one word that I could use, that <coughs> humanizing it. Mm. You wanted to say something. No, that's what I'm looking for, because I've been controlling all those years, and now I want you know, to... Because I used to play very instinctively when I was a child, and I had, after a while, you know, I had to be conscious of what I was doing, so... And I've been working like that, and now I think I need to find a balance, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, not to find a balance. Uh, you know what is the difference between an oven and a microwave? <laughs> between what? An oven. <laughs> in the microwave. <laughs> no. The oven heats from the outside and the microwave from the inside. <laughs> yeah. So music making, you, you should be like a microwave. Music comes from the inside and heats. <laughs> you know? And then this layer, this lacquered beautiful layer, it melts. And then pe people not respect it or anything, love it. People love it. People are moved by it. And for that, you don't have to pretend anything. You don't even have to be a good person. <laughs> but you probably are. No, I, I knew some violinists whom I did not respect highly as people. 
But when they started to play, then I was melting. <laughs> I had a feeling that they know, they know a secret, they know something that they cannot share, only through playing. Now those are un, un, unteachable things. You know, you can teach knowledge, but you cannot teach uh, secrets. If you hear a wonderful musical performance, then you have the feeling that you, you lived all kinds of things, rising, going. So, now what happens? How much higher is that peak than this one? You know? And it's not that instead of here, it's here. But instead of here, it's there. Okay, so play that. And, and don't, don't prepare yourself violinistically. You know what I mean? He says sotto voce ma espressivo, and that means that you have to hold back the sound, but whisper something important. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure. You know, if I would be, you would be a conductor, and you would give me that cue, then I would. <coughs> Start like that. Yeah. You you notice you make it and then you start to play. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was better. Yeah, can you imagine a little circle which ends up in a note? Yes. Uh huh. Mm hmm. That's right. And it ends up in exhaling, too. Yeah, I am sure that there you want less bow. Because suddenly, uh, 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 sound uh, Kreuzerish. <laughs> to, to, to simplify, just from the C sharp, okay? Don't, don't tighten your neck.
yes. And all kind of good things happen. Just let do that. Because instead of becoming passionate, you become angry. You know it. <laughs> no, it should be passionate and painfully so, and not square and angry. I play it up. That's right. So passionate and then you become forgiving. You know, yes, lovely. No, I, I think that you want to, to project. Not project, but fulfill. <laughs> fulfill. Right. Yes. Okay. Now, if the music is uh, expresses weakness, mm. for example, then you fulfill by becoming weak. No? Yeah. So this fulfillment is a beautiful idea if you specify. For example, if you have to play, if you, you are an actress and you have to play somebody who is fallible and weak and crazy and depressed, then fulfilling that, you have to deny what you are. So fulfilling is not uh, always uh, playing violin on the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs> Sometimes it is in, in the basement. That, that is a big question of, of acting. You know, how to, how to become. So how can you plug yourself into the music that it becomes stronger than uh, your surrounding or anything that, that you live. And uh, that includes even the school where you are a student. And where they grade you and put you in that and you graduate and, you know, and to transcend all that and to say that no, no, he, he is me. I am him now. You understand what I mean? Okay, lovely. <laughs>